morning guys, happy Monday morning motivation. This morning, I am thinking about my GPS. See, in my youthful days, I was what we jokingly called directionally challenged. <laughs> I would get lost on a regular basis, especially when I was going to new places. But I got better and better with it. And uh, then God blessed us with the beautiful and amazing gift of Google Maps. <laughs> Soon I was able to uh, find where I needed to go and get there without getting lost most of the time. <laughs> Until the season came when uh, it was time for us to move to a new home. See, the thing is, is no matter where I was, anywhere in the Metroplex, anywhere really in America, I could set my GPS to boop, go home, and it would take me on a route. They would get me to the same place every time, to home. To the place where I was familiar with, to the place where I knew where I was. But when things changed, when seasons changed, if I trust, trusted my GPS to take me to the same place again, without changing those directions, I would not wind up where I was supposed to be anymore because home had changed. Okay, so why am I talking about this? Because in 2 Corinthians, the word tells us that when we accept Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, when we become children of the kingdom, as opposed to the children of the world, we become new creations. And we are to set aside our old ways and go in a completely new direction. To stop following the path of the world and start following the ways of God. So the thing is, is if I did not change my direction, if I even know I knew the home was somewhere else now, if I did not consciously go in a different direction, I would wind up right back where I used to be. Unless I changed the coordinates in my GPS and then used it. So when our location for home changed, it was up to me to change what home looked like on my map. So that when it was time to find my way back to where I belonged, I would go in the right direction. I wouldn't wind up back where I used to be. Here's the practical application for that. When God gives you a new direction in your life, when God tells you it is time to go this way and that way is done, then it is up to you to find word, scripture, that takes you in the direction that God has told you to go and then to look at it on a regular basis. See, it is useless for me to put the new address in my GPS and never press go. It won't help me one little bit. But if I find myself tired, distressed, upset, and needing direction. And I press go on that GPS. And I hear that voice telling me it is time to go to the left to go to the right. And I follow those directions, then I'm going to find myself home. Back in peace, back in joy, back in safety, back in rest. Today I implore you. <sighs> Discover home. Discover where peace and joy and rest and restoration is. And then set your GPS by finding scriptures that take you there. And then listen to it on a regular basis. Every single time you need encouragement. Every single time you need peace. Every single time you find yourself distressed. And every single time you find yourself already peaceful and just needing to be restored. Practice it. Practice those directions again and again and again. And soon you will find yourself walking in peace, find yourself walking in joy, find yourself walking in righteousness unconsciously because you have practiced it, because you have become the new creation. This is a becoming process. You are not placed in a new place without giving the opportunity to become 
what you need to be in that new place. Set your GPS, my friends. It's time to go in a new direction. It's time to turn down a new path. And you're going to need that word from God, those scriptures that he has given you, to get you there. All right, I love y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.